Well, it's going to be a warm start to the week with temperatures that are nearing 90 degrees over the next couple of days before we do get into a little bit better chances for rain. Uh, that happens by midweek. We'll have to watch for the timing and impact, but certainly much needed rainfall in Metro Jacksonville as we've gone quite dry overall and our fire danger continues to escalate. We're still at the peak of our wildfire season. Multiple storylines we're bringing you Monday on Jacksonville's morning news as we continue to dissect uh, some of the storylines that emerge from the close of early voting. Sunday, souls to the polls, traditionally a big turnout day after church services are concluded and indeed it was the busiest single day of early voting as uh, across Duval County more than 9,500 ballots were cast. Overall turnout stands at just over 19 percent and registered Democrats continue to hold just over four percentage point lead over registered Republicans. What might be crucial is how the 11 percent of ballots cast under the no party affiliation header may ultimately go in the race for Jacksonville mayor and property appraiser that at large city council uh, race as well. In the race for Jacksonville mayor Donna Deegan voted in person on Sunday. We also caught up with Daniel Davis. You can catch up on that part of the story at WOKV.com. Tuesday is when uh, brass tax comes. It is election day. Polls open for 12 hours beginning at 7 o'clock. We invite you into coverage throughout the day. We'll be updating the turnout storyline. And the moment the polls close, we'll have instant results and analysis from a team of reporters across the area and hear directly from Donna Deegan and Daniel Davis on who may ultimately be the mayor-elect in Jacksonville. A lot of storylines developing along that line. And also in Jacksonville Beach, where voters are set to decide a really important issue that could impact future development around Latham Plaza. Catch up on that part of the story in the voter guide at WOKV.com.